Hello. Um, before I begin the topic of the episode, um, I am going to address the unfortunate passing of um, Vern Troyer. Uh, that happened this past weekend. Um, he was 49 years old, and uh, yeah, cause of death has yet to be said, but um, various things have been speculated. Uh, it's said that he um, had alcohol problems. Uh, I heard uh, apparently he was suicidal. Not sure exactly how, you know, how right any of these are exactly of to what caused his death. Um, but I thought before I got into it, I might as well address uh, that out of the way, because this is a movie-centric kind of series, so I thought it was appropriate to acknowledge Vern Troyer's passing. Um, obviously, he's known best as a mini me in the Austin Powers films. So, rest in peace to Vern Troyer. And, um, you know, I guess I'll just get into the video. Um, <clears throat> yeah, at least the discussion of the video, which is. Scarface, the uh, 1983 film. Uh, this version has a. Uh, uh, yeah. The original 30s version. Um, and yeah, what to say about Scarface? I mean, it's a great movie, it's a cult film, cult classic. I believe it did very fairly well initially, but it really became a huge thing with home video. Plus, rappers reference the song, uh, the film a lot. Uh, mentioned uh, Tony Montana a lot. Obviously, you know Al Pacino. Um, you know, uh, it's you know it's a remake, so you know it's not based on any thing true, essentially. The original, at least the title, was essentially alluding to Al Capone, you know, Scarface. Because, um, you know, uh, during the time, uh, Al Capone was a huge, was still a huge name, and uh, a big figure. So, By the time they did this in the 80s, um, uh, what to talk about? Well, drugs. Drugs was a huge thing, so they had the film instead of involving uh, Italian Americans, it's Cuban. Uh, because it's like Cuban Americans because they become citizens and all that. Um, at least get their green cards, you know. And, uh, comes over, start of life, and, uh, gets involved, Tony Montana gets involved with the drug world, and he becomes the kingpin. He becomes the, uh, drug kingpin of Florida. Miami, you know, is around that time. That Miami had a huge uh, uh, huge drug uh, problem, huge cocaine problem, in particular, obviously. And again, it's not based on anything 
a true story. But depend, when you look back at the times and you look at this film, it's fairly accurate of uh, like drug trade and stuff and how if one was involved in that kind of world, how violent it was. It was very violent. It was not pleasant. Um, and another interesting thing was, you know, the original film had an Italian-American as the central main character in this film. It's a Cuban, yet they have an Italian-American to play a Cuban. And Al Pacino, you know, he plays it fantastic. He's, a, he's phenomenal. Um, Michelle Pfeiffer in her breakout role, really. Um, I mean, she had been in some films before, but this, this would really put her into the limelight. Um, and really every actor and actress in this film is amazing. Um, it's it's kind of hard, it's like, you know, to talk about. Uh, in that, that everything you could say about Scarface has been said, similar to Godfather. You know, it's like, it's like what can you add that has been said? And I'm talking about Star Wars a lot on this channel, because you know, I'm a fan of Star Wars. Um, obviously. And uh, it's like, what do you, what do you say aside of, I guess the plot, you know, rags to riches, is the fall of the rise, not necessarily rags to riches, I guess you should, but is the fall, the rise and the fall, actually, the fall and the rise, yeah, that makes sense. He fell down right away, and he just and he got back up and made it to the top. No, no. But I think another reason why many rappers in particular in particularly reference this song is because I mean I've heard this from various uh, uh, rappers and when you look at it it's not very surprising it's like you know many rappers want to become huge and successful and some of the people and some of them you know they grew up in unpleasant uh, areas and sometimes in those, in those areas you know they could get rough and sometimes might be in gangs or perhaps you're not but you live in another area where even though you're not a, affiliated with any kind of gang well you kind of live around that area or in that area so you could potentially be a target or innocent bystander to that, happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And in this film, you know, there are innocent bystanders when things go wrong. You know, you're in the vicinity, not necessarily associated with it, but because you're in the same vicinity, you could be killed or uh, uh, severely injured when in the presence of uh, top guys, people who are involved in the, the world, that drug world, world, and it's very, it's, it's as accurate as I think a film like this could be, uh, depicting the time. And what's interesting is, uh, uh, this film actually helped Oliver Stone kick his cocaine habit. Which is kind of, I guess, interesting to think. You know, he was addicted to cocaine, and it essentially took him writing a, a gangster film where cocaine is a very uh, heavy has a heavy presence that uh, it made him quit uh, using cocaine. Uh, perhaps that much of the cocaine use that he wrote into the film might have done something, might have made him not want to try it anymore, or, or do it anymore, I should say, but I don't know, it's it's kind of interesting. Um, uh, Brian De Palma, great film, made an amazing film, uh, 
best known film before this film was uh, uh, Carrie, uh, with Sissy Spacek, and um, that was good. Um, but uh, yeah, good. but yeah, the, another thing with the rapper thing is um, because of that world they were in, you know, sometimes some were tempted tempted to get into that world of selling drugs. Um, even though some might want to you know, make something of themselves. Sometimes some along the way who are friends with them um, because of that world they live in and are associated with shows you the rise and the falls like, well, you could have a good life doing this. You could make a lot of money. And yet at the same time you could die as well. Doesn't matter how high you, up you are. Uh, it, it could happen to anyone. Um, uh, a cautionary tale in a sense. Um, and this film is being uh, remade. Uh, uh, taking place in the modern day America. Uh, LA I believe. And it uh, involves a Mexican who comes to America, uh, played by Diego Luna, um, known for like Rogue One. Uh, film offhand that I can uh, think of uh, off the top of my head. Uh, it's been in other films, but uh, I'm not gonna say boo about that film because. Uh, again, this is a remake, uh, and this is a great remake, um, but I understand some people don't want this to be remade, you know, understandable. But I guess seeing how, I guess this is a remake, I mean, it might be felt justified to make another remake. Um, how good that will be, I don't know. I'm not going to say boo, boo this idea, because, I don't know, I guess you could, I guess it's a, a kind of a story you could kind of retell over and over, uh, every so often, um, like that kind of story, uh, rise and fall from power, um, it's a classic story, essentially, um, though if you use the Scarface name, uh, then, well, you're going to get people's attention at this point. Um, now, a film like The Godfather, I think people can universally agree, should never be remade. I don't think other films like Star Wars, I don't think should be remade. Um, like the original Star Wars, the 1977, should never be remade in any way, with a new cast and crew. And... I don't think uh, films like Jaws should ever be remade, or Lawrence of Arabia, or films like that. I am very hit. I don't really. I don't necessarily think this should be remade either, but. I mean, again, considering the kind of story told in it, it's kind of a story that has been seen over and over, and you can. Depending on who you get involved with the film. From writing, directing, and then starring in it, it could be really good. Uh, so, and there's not a whole lot of information about this new version of Scarface out aside from essentially what I just told you. Um, I know the Coen brothers wrote an early draft of the script. Um, whether their version will ever be the version that will, you know, get made or parts of their script will be incorporated to the version that gets made. I don't know. Um, still, you know, it's... This is quite a film. Uh, the original movie is pretty good as well. Uh, I just recommend it. You check it out. Like, if you like The Godfather, I think you could... You, enjoy this as well. Uh, I mean, Pachito is still uh, on 
on top of his game in this film as well. Um, he wasn't nominated for an Academy Award, but I think he should have been. Um, whether he would have won or not is... anyone else's guess. Uh, Robert Duvall won the Oscar for Tender Mercies and um, he gave a very good performance. Would have liked to have seen Duvall won before for like Godfather or Apocalypse Now or performance like that but it's not a bad performance but um, I don't know, maybe Pacino if he was nominated could have been uh, giving him a run for his money. No. Um, in that regard. But anyway, yeah, uh, I just enjoy the film. Uh, you know, I know I didn't really go into the specifics about it, but I think it's great. I think it's amazing. And um, yeah, I'm sure most of you have seen it, but if you, in case you haven't, uh, I'd recommend. Men, if you like gangster films, you know. Uh, if you like Al Pacino uh, or Michelle Pfeiffer, um, Brian De Palma, uh, I could go on and on, like the list of actors and such. But um, I think I did the best <laughs> of saying why I like it and why I think it's a good film. Uh, so. If you like any of those things and you haven't watched it by this point, um, watch it. So if you have, I'm sure you enjoy it. Or if you don't, it's fine. Maybe it's too violent for you. Uh, the subject matter not, might not be appealing. Or, I don't know, it could be a number of reasons. Maybe you just don't have a desire. Maybe you just never have been interested. In not, it's not because of some of the other things that could possibly... Um, make one not want to watch Scarface. Some I just not be that interested in films. Sometimes films like Scarface get, sorry, so praised, it gets to the point where you're kind of reluctant to ever watch it because it might not live up to the hype. And, um, I, I understand that. Um, I've, I've had films like that where I've watched them, but they've been hyped up so much for me that it's disappointing when I watch it. Um, uh, you know, I don't like it as much. But I enjoy Scarface, and um, perhaps you do too. Perhaps not. It's just my views, my opinion. And um, it's really all I can leave you with. Um, but, um, yeah. Scarface is a great film. I recommend it. Uh, rest in peace, Vern Troyer. Um, and yeah, until next time, see you all later.